Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Sir Collider and welcome back to my Legendary Chaos campaign. Playing with Arky on the Ever Chosen. I ended the turn already for you. Unfortunately, my new friends Skaven, uh, uh, the army that was over here at shot... Shock... Shock Draken? Uh, they jumped away in the underground, uh, moved back to the Hell Pit. I think they were afraid of this big Dwarven army that's coming my way. And I think we'll do the same as them and get the hell out of here. Um, over here, Yearlings are making another army. Um, this is really difficult. We have some difficult decisions to make. The thing I want to do most is uh, take this spot, um, go over here, because some cities that I raise here, I can uh, get some. Um, how do you say that? Some Nord allies and the more allies we have up here in the north the better uh, some safe havens as you will for us but in order to do that we need to get past the dwarves and we also need to fight Fark who's um, C Fark yeah they are strength rank 3 already scaling is really close to them and we're at war with them too and they are strength rank 1 so yeah combined they're pretty strong uh, this is gonna be hard to take the north uh, we've got Kislev uh, up here, which we also can go for, but the cities we sack over here is not going to give us any, any allies, so we should go north. But the dwarves are in our way at the moment. Uh, we could go for Tukakadrak, but if they go around us or go in the underway stance, they will capture us, and that will be a bit of a problem. We can't can't be captured uh, off guard by this army because they will probably destroy us and that then will be the end of this campaign. So for now let's uh, head back uh, a little bit. It would be nice if we can uh, create a second army. Uh, an army just to hold back here at Burstling's camp just to grow. Um, so then we have like a safe that if I lose my main army that is conquering, then we still have our second army over there. So it would be a good choice to build another army, but we need two population surplus for that, and that's gonna take a little time. And if we're gonna if we build an, another army, then it means that this army can't grow as fast as we want to. But at least we won't be uh, we won't lose the game when we lose this army. So. Yeah, maybe that's a good thing to think about. Also, another army is going to cost me a lot more upkeep. So that's something we need. We uh, we need to consider for sure. For now, let's just get another unit. I think another... Uh, be nice to have. Some more infantry. And then let's turn and let's see what these guys are going to do. So I think so far we're doing great, but it's really, really hard finding a weak spot, uh, getting through those enemy lines. Because Kislev in the south is quite strong and the dwarves are not to be uh, kit with as well. Don't fool around those guys, they will kill you. So we need to bide our time and go for the opening as soon as we see it. And slowly grow our hordes get some better units because eventually of course scales can get some really really strong elite units which will give us the advantage over the enemy but for now uh, we can only build these weak yeah they're not that weak but still we need to be careful we lose one battle this campaign is over united against us red eye oh that's just great isn't that i know oh they're over here in the mountains okay Uh, it seems that Skaven has come back. It would be great if they uh, sent all of their armies to help us out over there. Alright. Research another technology. That's good. We are now ooh, losing. Oh, that's because we have uh, recruited an exalted hero. 
And now we're losing some income, and that's a bit of a shame. But at least we've got an exalted hero now. I've, I could put him in the army, but we can also send him out uh, to check out what's going on uh, with the enemy. And we're going to use him for that purpose. Because it's very important that we know what they are all doing. Bark is coming this way with a big army. I don't think they are at war with Kakadar. Oh, Kakadrak. No, they're not. So they are coming for me. Or they're coming to um, get Shotraken and the Frozen Landing. This used to be their lands, of course. So we need to watch out. And we've got this huge Chaos army as well. Let's assault their units. Failure, but at least we've got some XP. And we need to go back a bit, because two big armies are coming my way. We need to uh, try and retreat for a bit. Uh, oops, I don't know why I did that. Well, go for treasure and then... I was searching through the ruins of the city, almost leveled by war. Yeah, by me. You notice an unfamiliar band of scavengers picking carefully through the ruins. Potentially, this is not good. It's one wrong word could see you all dead. How do you wish to proceed? Avoid conflict and leave. Offer to help them search. Attack the thieves. Give them a white bird. I think uh, go around them. Uh, po -po -po -po. Attack the thieves. Why should we attack thieves? Offer to help them search. Let's do that. Oh, cool. And usually the scavengers welcome your offer and you join them in their search. Whilst working alongside the strangers, you manage to find a hidden vault of treasure. Now, if only there was a way to avoid split the profits with them. So yeah, we got 500 from that. So that's, that's kind of nice, I guess. Ah, uh, can't walk anymore. That's unfortunate. Uh, technology. Let's go for Retails of Corruption. Would like to get this, and I can buff my morale somewhat, but we need to keep a little favor in reserve. Come on, guys, build your army up again. I'm gonna need you soon. How's Gales doing over here? Gales corruption needs to go up over there. All right, we're ready, ready. I don't know how we're gonna get past these guys, especially now that Fark is coming with a big army. Why do Scaling and Fark always get that so strong, man? At least uh, when when the Norse guy and uh, the troll dudes were here, they could stop them from growing that big, and that would give Chaos an advantage. But right now they are not present. That means Fark and Scaling are the only ones there in the in the cold mountains. Which gives them the opportunity to really, really grow. Akadrak. What are they doing? I don't know what they're doing. Okay, building another army. Now Fark, it's soon their turn. They're probably gonna come my way. Red Hat, I has got a walk. I want to see if they are at war with Kislev. Important for me to know. Alright, Fark's turn. Oh, they have declared war on Kakadrak. And they are actually besieging their main city. This is very good news for us, of course. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is their capital. They are besieging it. So that means this army will probably go over there, help out. And that gives us an opening to run towards Gazit Port Karak. Destroy that, and then see who comes out the victory. Victor over here. Uh, let's try and assault that those units again. Cost me a little bit, but uh, it helps my exalted hero to train. Failure, but he's almost level two. Now, how far can these guys walk? Don't really see it. Let's just uh, stay over here. Go in the compartment, and let's just watch the situation unfold. We could also. Get the proving grounds. Uh, 
will cost me one unit surplus, but we can make more other horse ma masses who are very good. And the upkeep uh, for Chaos Marauder units will go down. This is a building we want, but that means we are going to have to wait a little bit more until we can make our uh, our uh, second army. But what the hell, we're just going to get that one. And then I... Uh, how much were they? Mm, I think they were well, like 110, so... I want to get rid of... Oh, they, these guys are very cheap, so I want to keep them in my army. Let's just get rid of these guys. Uh, just one of them for now. And we're gonna get some Marauder Horsemen instead. Alright, but this is uh, going well for us. This, this Dwarven army will probably go back. Or Skaven. Or they will attack Skaven. And now we'll have to see what they're gonna do. Let's just uh, end the turn. And instead of speculating, watch how this is going to unfold in my favor. Thank you, Vark, for that. I really didn't expect that. It looked like they were going towards me. And normally they don't don't see it a lot that they declare war just like that. Uh, before, Normally they declare war before they send their armies. But maybe it was a last minute decision. I don't know. Right, so they have gone out of my sight. I know where they went. Possibly back to Kazet Bordrak. Because Kakatrak has been taken by Fark. They were they not they will not be able to uh, defend it. And that means Kakar Kakar Katam. Whatever the dwarves over here are weakened a lot, but I don't know where their army went. Oh, they, uh, for, it wasn't even Vark's turn yet, so that means they assaulted. They came out of the city and attacked Vark. Now, Clan Mulder has declared war on Vark. So that's good news as well. And it looks like Vark lost a lot of uh, men in that fight. So that means uh, we have to sprint towards them, stop them. Feed the following battle masses. I think this, this army probably, yeah. Okay, my exalted hero is leveled up. Um, for now, because he's on the... Ooh, we could give him a Manticore eventually. This is a great unit to have on the battlefield, because he's very, very strong. But for now, because we are using him uh, on, the, on the campaign map, we're going to give him Assassinate. And let's send him up here. Yeah, it looks like that Dwarven army actually went towards Fark. And together with the garrison, um, attack them. But, but they were not uh, able to defeat them. Vark defeated them. And now Vark's over here, kind of weak. And the dwarves are over here with just one garrison. Not an army left between them. So we're gonna have to choose which we are wanna, who we wanna fight right now. I think we're gonna go for Vark. Uh, because these guys are gonna down, uh, going down eventually let's just run towards them really quick and then, then next turn uh, we can attack uh, attack Fark here we have possibly a weakened garrison right now and it's gonna be a tougher battle than over here of course but we need to try and weaken Fark on every every turn we can but this is going great for us soon soon this will burn the lands over here will burn and then we can Hopefully, yeah, it's it's a bit of a risk going into Vark territory, but here are the here are the cities that will make sure we get uh, new Norska allies to our cause. And that's really important to have to help them evade, invade, not evade. Help them. Uh, they can help me invade the the lands of uh, the Empire factions.
And Skaven, this is a possibility they will now go for Cassid board, Greg. Take that. It would be a bit of shame. Um, it's also possible, but I don't know for sure, that they have taken Shocked Raken now. Because it always looks like runes. I don't know. I hope they're not going for this one, because I want to raid it myself. But I needed to go to Fark. I, they're going to rebuild now, and I can't give them that time to rebuild their strength over there. Well, they assaulted the garrison, but that failed. Uh, looks like... Uh, oh, they're going over here and not over there. Maybe they want to take this settlement. Right, looks like they uh, got some new units. 15 units over there and, and some garrison units. But this is going to be a pretty tough fight. I can't really see what they have there. But we have Archeon. That counts for something. And luckily we can attack right now because they are still quitting units. And if we've given them another turn then the army will... Uh, unfortunately this guy can't join the fight. That would, would have been very good to have him in the fight. Uh, yeah, let's uh, attack them. I'm a bit afraid. Can we Can we not? Can we please? What's going on over here? Let's turn around a bit. There we go. I mean, yeah, look at that 50-50% chance. Every battle right now is so, so important because um, every battle could potentially be your last. Yeah, they've got a got a huge army up here. Uh, we are outnumbered, but we have Archeon, of course. And they've got a lot of more Water Horsemen as well, which potentially could be a big problem for me, because I only have two at the moment. But my infantry should, should slice up their infantry quite nicely. But after this battle, I'm not going to have um, a lot of units left, so hopefully Vark is not coming my way already. Let's jump in. All right. Well, it's quite stressful because, uh, like I said, yeah, let's not gamble. Uh, if we lose this battle, then we are screwed. Uh, possibly there are, there will be some survivors. They will retreat. Park will come up after me, and then uh, that's the end of this campaign already. So it's the thing with chaos. Can be really, really stressful like that. My chaos war ends up here. Do luckily have some chosen in my army, and I've got Archeon, and I have a lot of faith in Archeon. Maybe a little bit too much, but gives a shit. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll spawn over. Right, let's do this, boys and girls, of course. Right, we're gonna try and weaken them a little bit on that front. Archeon, go forward. That fireball can go really, really far. Uh, what I want to do is uh, kill his leader. We're going to try and weaken them a little bit with the fireball. Axe is coming in, doing some great damage there. But uh, we need to fire the Marauder Horsemen, not their melee units. If uh, these units stay together shoot at the Marauder Horsemen, then they could do some damage. No, don't shoot at the uh, infantry, shoot at the, the cavalry. Damn it, what's wrong with you people? Did some great damage on the infantry though, so... Not to be too hard on them. Another fireball throw at their leader. Right, let's just uh, run in, attack them. Uh, yeah, this, this is a bit of a problem. My dogs can't catch them. Uh, we're gonna try anyway. Make them run away. Make sure that they are not shooting at my infantry. Gonna throw my chaos spawn in already. Let's go for the leader there. 
Oh, this guy needs to go around. And, uh, stop it. Yeah. We need to help out the guys over here because they are slowly losing. Go over there. I see already some more hounds of them are fleeing. How's the rest doing, guys? How are we all doing over here? Having a great time, good. Our warhounds are catching, actually catching up with one of their Marauder Horsemen so they can finish them. Oh, let's not put you on that stance. Ah, now these guys have finally arrived over here so we can slay them. Got a free unit over here. Throw them in there. Archeon is getting damaged a bit, it seems. So, uh... It's not as strong as I thought, but he's up against the leader, so that's... Can we throw a fireball up real close? Can we do that? Mm, no, we can't. Okay. It's, a, it's a shame. But we are we are winning, it looks looks like we are winning. Alright, those guys are dead, so let's go over here and uh, help my hounds out. Now these guys are being a bit irritating over there. Archeon is slowly killing their leader, so that's good. Let's get you guys in there. Ah, look, my Chaos Warriors bringing the pain on the enemy. Go over there, please. Alright, my Warhounds. Get these Marauder Horsemen over there. They will uh, finish this up. Come on, guys, throw your axes. There you go. Axis incoming. Nice. Ooh, we have lost the unit over here. It's not going great on this front. That's because all of my marauders are over there. Uh, it seems like, uh, yeah, he defeated their leader. Let's throw Fireball off to, after him. Hopefully, uh, finish him off as well. Let's see. If it's gonna be enough. Yeah, it is. We have killed their leader beautiful with a Fireball there. That means their morale is pretty, pretty damaged. What are you guys doing? Absolutely nothing. Push them back. Yeah, go after them. My warhounds are catching up with their morale, the horsemen. That's good. Yeah, boy. We have won the fight. We don't have to chase them because we are attacking the city. We can burn that to the ground. Uh, we did lose some units there, but not too much. Alright, loot gain, look at that, almost 5,000 uh, mark of Tzintek as well. Uh, Archeon has leveled up, so that's good. What does this do? Ward save, nice. As you can see, my K my Chosen and my Chaos Warriors haven't lost, a l haven't lost a lot of units, but did a lot of damage. It's mostly my Marauder infantry who who got the, who were damaged quite a lot, so that's that's good news. And since we've got a lot of money from the post-battle loot, we're gonna go for replenishment rate and horde growth. And let's raise the city to the ground. And Mark of Chaos gained, so that's good. Because uh, we achieved this mission successfully as well, so we get leadership plus 12 for all armies, 4 turns. And Arkin has leveled up, of course. Uh, Swords of Chaos, charge bonus. Okay, cool. Yeah, those Chaos Knights are... Don't mess with those guys, man. They're, they're pretty strong. And, uh... Let's go for Thick Skint there again. Sorry, I was closing my door. Armor plus 15, so that should be enough right now. With this buff. For, for now, for his personal skills. And then we can um, get into the magic or... Uh, upkeep. Yeah. I could get this. Ooh, this is great. Level 2. Then we can really make a lot of Chaos Warriors. And these things are quite good. I mean, yeah, it's all really good. We also need tribes of Chaos as well. Uh, yeah, let's put those guys together because it's gonna take a long time to retrain them. Then after this, we go and then camp and stands again. Um, get some more of these guys uh, the stronger guys 
Horse Masters, I think they're called. Uh, because that, that's a great way to defeat the Vark at the moment. Um, we do get another... There's another Vark army over here. It seems that they are going to go for Kassad Port Garak. So let's uh, watch what they're going to do. And if they take it, then we can jump in there again and uh, slay off the remaining forces. I would also really, really like it if I had this guy in my army. But for now we really need him on the campaign map to... Uh, check out enemy armors to scout ahead so we know what we are getting ourselves into we don't want to be caught off guard by two park armies or something that uh, would not be nice Let's see vampire counts cleared war on the red eye uh, and on the red eye walk of course all right so i am at war with red eye but uh Seems uh, I don't gonna have a problem with those guys for now. Have their hands full. Ooh, look at that. Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Yet again, a new death block. They've come out with a lot of them lately. What do you want? They want me to give them 700? No way, man. Uh, I've been waiting for Mountain Blade Bannerlord for about 5 or 6 years now, I think. Um, a lot of people were saying that it would come out this year, but still nothing. Um, and no response from Bannerlord if this is true as well. Your prestige Ooh. grows, my lord. News of your conquest spreads far and wide. Good. We have sacked four settlements. We completed two bonus objects. Didn't really look at them, sorry. Uh, but we got 400, 4,000 favor. Now we need to raise a sack eight settlements. Uh, let's now look at... Oh, that's the wrong one. Let's look at the bonus objectives right now. We've already gotten one. Be at war with five factions. We are currently at war with 11. So. Win 10 battles. Current total zero. Hey, I, I, I already won some battles, man. Put the following hero. Kill sorcerer. Attain at least 25% in the following corruption in the specified provinces. Okay. Lead one quest chain. Alright. Uh, since there is no Chaos thingy above this Shot Draken anymore, I think, think, uh, Skaven has taken that. Uh, that's fine by me, they can do that. These guys, they, they actually did attack Cassette Board Rock, uh, sacked it and ran away again. And it looks like they're still on full strength at the moment. We're gonna have to watch out for that a little bit. It's just um, how far they can they far can they walk? Okay, I'm just go over here right now. For now, wait here a little bit and get these guys. Them. And let's uh, we have a lot of money right now, so let's assault their units. Ooh, success finally! They were replenishing quick over there. Bit of a problem. Still, he has leveled up uh, assault units. Let's go for that one. Right, and how's it going over here? Right, great, great, great. Good. Very good. Yeah, I think we can take them if they come towards me, but I still need to replenish a little bit, so. Uh, how's Fark doing now after the last defeat? They are at strength rank 30. Damn. And scaling is at 48. What? It just wear 2 and 1. Well, yeah, it changed a lot at the beginning, though. That's for sure. I mean, when the when the campaign started, I was like strength rank 
two or three and I didn't even do anything yet. It's just because of the army you get. It's a thing with strength rank, it only calculates in uh, armies, not how many money you've got of, or how big your uh, your faction is, how many cities you have, it's only about the army. So if you lose a big army, then it goes down really, really quickly. And Molder, what are they doing? I think they've just taken the ruins here. And now it's uh, Vark. What are they gonna do? Running away. I don't know where they went, but. Okay, it's fine by me. Other technology. Now we do have a lot of money, so we can just uh, go for the lure of dark promises. Then at least we can just take our time and uh, research all that. Spark, I don't know what they're doing. It seems that they have seen Skaven and they want to go for them. Uh, yeah, Skaven also have taken Karkakdar over here, so they are getting quite big. Need to watch out, of course, because uh, I don't want to get in, a, in a trouble with them right now. Clan Mulder do like me, though, so maybe that's not, not a real problem. Uh, it's just... I don't know, I want to stay on this army. I also want to go over here and see what they have there, but I want to stay on this army and see what they are going to do. Let's uh, keep assaulting them. Billiard. Bad. And we can continue with Arkeel in a bit. 50. Uh, common. Campaign movement range required to adopt 25. Oh, so we don't need 50, we need 25. Okay, then we can walk a little bit further. There go. Um, six more turns and then we could... We could uh, potentially get another army, get a second army, but then my income will go down a lot. Uh, if Especially if we make them passive for the moment and we don't do a lot with them. My income will go down for sure. And I can't really... Normally I would say I would just stay close to Archean and support them. But we can't do that because they will fight the shit out of each other. Can't even be in the same region or province, I guess. So, yeah. It's always hard making that second army because they are really, really weak at the beginning. You can only make... Um, you can only make so many units. Right, really weak units. I did the last time I played Chaos. I thought like, hey, I can put just put half of Archeon's elites in my second army. But then my uh, upkeep really, really went up because the buildings I have in Archeon, the Ever Chosen, that make sure that the upkeep goes down, are only effective on the units in that army. So if they, if I put them in another army and they don't have those buildings, my, then my upkeep goes up a lot. Uh, like, yeah, too much, can't work with that. So a new army really, really has to do it on its own. I can't get a lot of help from from uh, the other armies, so that's a bit of a problem. Especially when you make them late game, because then they have just weak fucking units up against elite units of the enemy. That's not working. I mean, you can get them together for one battle if you time it Precisely, but then they need to get the hell out of there again. Otherwise, uh, both of your armies are getting damaged from being too close to one another. That's, uh, I don't like that feature. I mean, it's a kind of challenge, but if it wasn't there, that would be really helpful for uh, this campaign. That's for sure. 
Alright, replenishment rate has gone up. Rate the following. A region, Aislings Conclave. Okay. Another Fork army incoming. Uh, looks like... Uh, an I want to go with this guy over here and see if Fark is coming from over there, but I think maybe they have another army somewhere, but I think these are this is, uh, most of their army at the moment. Let's keep assaulting him. Kill you again, but he has leveled up. Uh, let's go for Blade Master then for when he is in an army. You guys, you can go over here and uh, lay waste to the Winter Fire. I'm not sure, but it's possible that we can get another allied uh, faction from over here. But I don't, I don't really, I don't know. Yeah, we can. Aceling, good. Uh, yeah, some money and some gold would be nice. But every time we come across uh, a city where we can awaken another uh, Norsecan tribe, then we should really do that. Ooh, armor gained. Nice. Faction research rate plus 10%. Um, we have... Polar it was? I don't know. Oh, we can't put him in here. Well, this guy is leveled up again. It's good for him. For now, let's... Uh, yeah, let's uh, put our points in tribes of chaos. We need to get that growth going. We can get it up to 5, so that's good. And my replenishment is going up again. Let's put you over there. And this really changes uh, things in my favor if we can keep them alive. Now we have an ally over here fighting for Ark. We have a, like a safe location over here that we can use in our advantage. I think Frozen Landing is now also Skaven territory. You can check out the corruption. Yeah, it's Skaven corruption is going uh, up a lot. So. Frozen Landing now belongs to Skaven. Bit of a shame, I was hoping these guys would uh, would take the Frozen Landing, get bigger, but they keep going for Volkscrad. And it looks like uh, we didn't see that, but they just lost another battle. So they're not getting through over there. Could use our help at some point. For now, I want to awaken more tribes over here in the north, uh, so they can help me out. Alright. Military ally. Are they not giving me money or something? Why would they give me money? Hey. They are my vessels, but... Oh, look at that. Tribute received per turn. 25. 40. Well, shit together, guys. I want more. So yeah, they're giving me tributes, so I'm getting some money from that, but not a lot at the moment. Income from raising settlements, speed, range. Um... Leadership. Yeah, let's go for erection of ruinous monuments. Uh, get some more money from raising, and let's end the turn again. Well, so far so good. Can say that, but uh, you know, anytime I can die, anytime I can lose this army, anytime, and then this campaign is over. Doesn't matter if I played 10 turns or not. So, oh, oops. Getting a second army raises my survivability with 100%, so. Really get that. Oh, this poor uh, Krakar Trak are almost dead. Quark will probably finish them over there. Not my problem though. At least we've got no uh, irritating dwarves here anymore and I I managed to uh, avoid, uh, avoid having a big fight with them. I was a little bit afraid we couldn't win that or we would lose too many units against the dwarves. still hasn't taken the, the settlement they could easily take it or sack it 
But no, they are running away again. Let's just... Uh, yeah, I, want, I actually want to keep following them, but I also want to see what's going on in front of me. Let's get him back. These guys are good to go. Archeon. Um, good to keep following the river, but we could go uh, inland. For now, let's go to the altar of spawns and then go inland. Still no army. Now, every time I do this, um, I'm really, really scared that I face a full, full unit, full army. But so far, so good. Hopefully, they're not gonna attack my allies. They need to allies they need to uh, regain their strength, build themselves up. And then they could be of huge help of me here in the north. They could maybe go inland as well, take some settlements from Vark. And then slowly but steady we can uh, destroy and occupy my allies, that is. Allies. Allies? Allies. Occupy the whole of the north. And then we are in a, a much stronger position to uh, invade the Empire provinces, which is the eventual goal, but we need a strong strong base to do that can't just run with our one army into the empire provinces that won't go very good Right, let's just see if we can. Uh... I don't think there's an army over there. Let's go over here and check it out. Ooh, we went the, the right way, it seems. Otherwise, we would have uh, come across a huge army over there. Hopefully, they don't have another one over here. No, they don't. So that means Altar of Spawns is. Uh... Got a small garrison up here, but we should be alright taking that. And then maybe we can uh, awaken another tribe over there. Who knows? We'll see. Use some uh, money though as well. So if we can uh, raise it. And uh, if there's another tribe and we can raise it and get some money. That would be great as well. So it doesn't really, really matter. Now hopefully this army is not going to go to Aisling. Because then that would be the end for them already. But we'll see. Can't do much anymore, so let's uh, end the turn and uh, see what they're going to do.
Oh, would you look at that? Aisling is building another army. And Vark is coming to the aid of the altar of spawns. Which so, uh, potentially could be a real threat to me. Go after them with my agent. Because if I attack this after that battle, we're gonna be we're gonna be weakened. And then this full army will come in. They will destroy me. But good news, they are on force march and we can attack them. Attack them at their weakest. And we're gonna lose some men in that fight, and we're probably gonna have to play it ourselves, but let's do it. It's the best uh, option we have right now. Getting them off guard. Look at that. Look at this army, man. This is gonna be an easy fight. I mean, they are strong, but they're not really uh, versatile, so. Uh, and I mean, I have a lot of uh, fast units, so it's gonna be easy to go around them and pick them off. Let's jump in and uh, do this. Alrighty then. Well, we don't have a lot of uh, Winds of Magic, so let's gamble and hopefully we'll get a bit more. Thank you, Ranald. Oh. Nothing happening. Nobody's with me. Right, we uh, could use our horsemen here at the front. Uh, these Warhounds could maybe catch up with them, but by the time that happens, they will have uh, run through the rest of my army. So, that, uh, sorry, door was open again. That won't happen. I'm gonna use my Chaos Warhounds to uh, go around them, take their infantry in the back, and this should be a uh, right forward battle. Let's put Archeon in the front. And there we go. Start shooting the enemy. Uh, get on the hill a little bit. Guys can go over here. Alright, yeah, run away. Very, very good. These warrants are already shaken. Don't know what's going on with them. A bad day, I guess. Oh boy. Got some of my units there, but like I said, we we are at my infantry already, so it will not catch them. Yeah, let's keep uh, going that way. I don't want to fight that infantry head on and lose my warhounds. No point in that. You be get in there. Blast. Go yourself. Let's just send in all of my infantry right now. Uh, let's throw in the Chaos Spawn as well. For all the horsemen, you can uh, come over here. Where? Oh boy. Throw my warhounds in now. Uh, I don't know what you guys are doing, but fighting them over there. Where are you going, man? What are you doing? Let's uh, fire at the men over there. Now warhounds coming in from the back. Oh, they were stopped by some other warhounds. These guys weren't, so they're gonna get them in the back. Beautiful. Where's Archeon? Archeon is catching up with an old friend. Yeah, let's finish that guy. Uh, both of my units over here. Try and get to the line so we can uh, attack them in the back. Oh, over here they're already fleeing. Let's make sure that they are on force march so we don't have to finish them off, but want to make sure that they're not coming back. Okay, they're both not coming back, that's good. Go after them or over here then. You fin finish them up. Go over there, go over here. And it's going great. A set. It's pretty straightforward battle. The enemy couldn't do much uh, because they only had infantry and just a few warhounds. This side was struggling a bit, but that's because uh, 
I need to divide my Chaos Warriors and my Chosen and my Marauder units a little bit more. It seems like because uh, at the time they're struggling and I'm losing on the right front. But their morale is broken right now. We have, we have, uh, we have a clean victory. Nice. Right. How much money did we get? Some. Okay. Replenishment, leadership or more favor. Well, we need our replenishment for now because we're gonna go for that other settlement. Let's do that. And yeah, that army is totally finished because they were in force march. And leadership plus five when fighting against scales and Norse guns. So that's good. When do we have a fight against scales though? Is that a, is that a real situation? Okay, Archeon. Let's get you tribes of chaos again. And put you on force march. I want to make sure that I can reach that shit over here. Yeah, they, they, got a, they got a little garrison in over there. I'm probably going to use some marauders, uh, lose some marauders against them, but that's not that bad. We have uh, we have damaged Fark a lot again, so uh, they're probably really frustrated with me right now. Uh, we're gonna go for auto of the spawns, but not for this episode. That's gonna happen in the next one. Well, so far so good with this campaign, and I hope you're enjoying it. If you do, leave a like. And if you want to see more of my content and support my channel, hit that subscribe button, make my day, and I will see you guys very soon.